<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here uh, to talk about the Iowa, the inaugural uh, Iowa Speedway race tonight for uh, the NASCAR Cup Series. Honestly, that was a solid race. It was much better than I expected. I really didn't expect much going into this into this race because I thought with the repave it would ruin it because of turn one and stuff like that. But honestly, it wasn't really that bad. I thought it was a solid race. Um, so glad NBC's back. Like, I love NBC so much. Like, the broadcast, I thought was good. From the guys in the booth, they don't yell over each other. The production, multiple, mul put, and they put reporters asking multiple questions. Post-race show, just amazing. And while I wish Dale was in the booth, but I'm glad he can go and prove TNT, but... Anyways, it was a pretty solid race. Um, I, the big question I had this race was going into it, uh, tire failures, but there there was a few. I mean, stage two, stage one, stage two is where they really happened. McDowell had two flat tires this race, which one of them happened when he was running the top ten, which is really unfortunate. But I think they should repay the rest of the corners. Even though I thought it was a solid race, I think they should repay the rest of the corners. But I do want to talk about Chase because that's he's often obviously I've mentioned my recaps my favorite driver. Yeah, it sucks to be this close, obviously third, but it's good. It's pretty good to be one of the contenders again. He really ran inside the top five, ten all day long. He got up to third after he was like two, about three seconds back. I think he used up his stuff trying to get up there to the front. But I'll take a third place, and he's actually the new points leader uh, as well coming out of this race because Larson wrecked Hamlin got involved in it so I'll take it a third place I mean yeah it's no it's I know it's not a win but he improves his average finish too he's more, finished in the top 20 every race this year and he hasn't DNF'd and if you run that consistent you're eventually going to get faster and faster and go up there have faster cars lead laps and this will help in the playoffs as well it's good pace and awesome to get the points lead and yeah, you can say, oh, 137 laps led through 17 races. It's whatever. Loved how the car was, and they really had top three speed. Just wish uh, he could have got past Byron. Had a good car, but he showed to get by some light traffic in the air. Consistent night. He'll be in victory lane again. But I felt like this is the most complete race they've had moving forward, so hopefully they can move forward. And being the points leader right now. Um, I give the race a 6 out of 10. Honestly thought it was solid. Ain't got a good winner in Ryan Blaney. And we got a full post-race show on right now in the background. NBC's just leaps and above Fox. It's so refreshing to have a post-race. Um... But I'm happy for Ryan Blaney. I want to talk about the winner now since I talked about my favorite driver finishing third. I want to talk about Blaney. Um, he was pumped after winning that race because he had about 80 friends there. And he's had multiple races he's could have won this year. One that comes to mind, Gateway, where he ran out of fuel uh, coming to the last lap. So he, he deserves it. I thought Kyle Larson had the best car, but he ended up getting wrecked by Suarez. He tried to blame it on Larson somehow. Yeah, I felt Blaney was the second best. Maybe this is probably the second best car, but I thought he was pretty deserving. Like 201 laps, a career high. I mean, he just had such a good car. But it feels Kyle Larson's either winning or wrecking. I mean, this one wasn't his fault, though. Really isn't most of his fault at the time. Another thing that happened, Kyle Busch. Something broke on his car. And it's just been that kind of season. He just cannot catch a break. He just can't catch a break. He was having a good top ten night, really, most of the night. And then something broke. I don't know what it was. But, I mean, there's nothing to blame here. I mean, just something broke. And they went to the garage. Kyle Busch fans were probably, uh, probably saying a, a, uh, something that rhymes with duck. Fuck. Probably what Kyle Busch fans were saying. Their season from hell continued. But yeah, I mean, Blaney, I'll say this. I mean, 
the tires, it, like, the tires do matter. The tires did matter. But it just felt like for the later, dude, if you had two tires, I mean, he had an, they, I feel like Byron and Blaney had equal cars. Um, Chase probably could have let, uh, could have let him win. Chase probably could have went, maybe and ran him down, but he was just, too, he just, he just lose too much on the race starts. It's really fast in the long run, but I think he just used his stuff up trying to get up there. But Blaney was probably definitely driver than not. And he could easily have about two or three wins by now. The NBC coverage broadcast was pretty good. But uh, but 90 laps in a tire and no t fall off, I mean, no wonder anyone can drive in this series. That's the only thing I'll complain about. Uh, but it just sucks, sucks that all the tires don't wear out, but whatever. It's still a pretty solid race for what I was expecting. Um, yeah, let's go over the, what happened in all the stages. And stage one, we had a kerfuffle. Um, Carson Hosevar got into Zane Smith and got to Corey Joy. Corey Joy ended up spinning out. I think on lap four. And I was kind of wondering where the tire issues were, but then AJ Almendinger had one and he ended up hitting the wall, crashing, and he was out of the race. Uh, Ryan Blaney ends up winning stage one. Stage two, uh, Noah Gregson spins. I guess he spun, but he saved it. But they threw a caution because he thought he was going to wreck. Because John Nemechek's an idiot. Probably the biggest idiot in the Cup Series. Dove it in there. Spun him. Or I guess technically half spun him. But yeah, still spun him out. Malcolm McDowell has his first flat tire of the race in Stage 2. Ross Chastain get, then gets a flat tire. Eric Jones gets a flat tire. And this all happened with the span of a few laps, by the way. No cautions for these, though. But then Daniel Hembert gets out of the groove. I guess Tate kind of crashes, hits the wall, and they throw a caution for that. You couldn't throw a caution for one of these three flat tires. Well, McDowell, he got, he got meaning. They were still going, though. But why throw a caution for him? Like, this just seems dumb. And then uh, Kyle Larson ends up winning stage two. So Ryan Blaney and Kyle Larson were your stage winners. Stage three... Stage 2 was really the eventful stage, but honestly it was solid, solid racing all the way throughout. Stage 3, Larson um, went in the middle, Suarez got loose, chased it up, and put Larson in the wall, and Hamlin got involved, and Larson was pretty much done from there. So, he, Suarez tried to blame that on Larson. I, I get he probably put him in a bad situation, but, I mean, he went up the track, put him in the wall. I mean, I don't know why he was saying it, saying, um... Oh, that was Larson's fault. Uh, Busher, who uh, I think took two, he took two tires or stayed out. Uh, he was running away on the top five after that. Got passed by the cars on fresher tires. Had a tire go down and hit the wall. So he, may, he still managed to get a good finish out of it. I have the NASCAR.com up, so I can get the results. Read them off there and save on my phone. Uh, but then Blaney just gets the lead in the race start. Wins. Byron Elliott closed. They just not get close enough. Chase, I mean... He had a really good car, top three car for sure. Just if he didn't lose too much time on his restarts, he would have had a shot. I'll take the top five. But yeah, um, went over what happened in stages one, two, and three. Gave my thoughts on the race, six out of ten. Much better than I thought it would be. Well, let's get into it. So Ryan Blaney gets the win, William Byron second, Chase Elliott third, Christopher Bell fourth. Uh, he was really fast, really fast on the long run. He was really, really fast in the long run late in that race, but he was just too far back. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. fish out. Ricky Stenhouse getting the uh, top five right there. Joey Logano, sixth. Josh Berry, seventh. Alex Bowman, eighth. Daniel Suarez, ninth. And Brad Keselowski will round out the top ten. Ross Chastain, eleven. Todd Gillen, twelfth. Justin Haley, thirteenth. Carson Osvar, uh, fourteenth. Shout out to those guys. Twelfth, thirteenth, and fourteenth right there. Uh, Justin Haley even ran top tens at portion of this race. Had a penalty put him back, but he was able to get back Two top ten, fell back to thirteenth, but a good run for Justin Haley. Hosevar, best driver there at Spire. True X fifteenth, no grace in sixteenth, Bubba Wall seventeenth, Chris Busher eighteenth, off the nineteenth round. Top twenty Harrison Burton. Well, top twenty Harrison Burton. Corey Lejoy twenty first. Tyler Reddick twenty second. Not sure what happened to Tyler. Twenty second. Malcolm McDowell twenty third. Denny Hamlin twenty fourth. Got in that wreck. McDowell had that flat tire. Ty Gibbs twenty fifth. He just had a very bad car all night. John Hunter, Nemechek, 26th, Ryan Priest, 27th, Chase Briscoe, 20th, Ryan Priest is so bad, 
and Chase Briscoe. I don't know what the hell happened to his card. Daniel Hemrick, 29th, and Austin Cindric, 30th. This is the guy we got in the playoffs right now that will be running like this the rest of the year. Zane Smith, 31st, Eric Jones, 32nd, Kaz Grawl, 33rd, Kyle, Kyle Larson, 34th after his incident, Kyle Bush, 35th after he had him some type of something that broke. AJ Almanigan rounds out the field in 36th in the last place. So, yeah, that's my recap tonight for Iowa. So, uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and until next time, Malcolm Peace.